Vertical industry markets have become something of a holy grail for CSPs. The arrival of 5G with its network slicing capabilities promises to enable new services that are better suited to the needs of enterprises. But have telcos successfully pitched the benefits of 5G to verticals and which vertical industries are going to be the first movers? For the first time, I would say, the 5G gives us the opportunity to actually serve um, industries in a better way than we are able to do today and also to shift focus from mainly only um, consumer services towards actually industry services, connecting machines and um, things uh, for them. There are a lot of, um, let's say, uh, uh, enterprises that are very interested in the new technology and um, they are looking at mobile technology as a substitute for Wi-Fi in certain cases. They are looking at new business use cases that is not possible at all today and probably using mobile technologies for supporting these kind of use cases. And when you come to network slicing, one of the main aspects I would say for the industries is to gain uh, security or uh, insurance of, for instance, a certain level of data. Yeah, so a certain level that should be provided and never lost in, in the cases. And for that, for instance, network slicing would be very good that you can ensure that a certain customer always will receive a guaranteed minimum of data, for instance. Well, we have started to uh, discuss with a few industries to determine which one were the, the most interested by uh, this uh, disruption and this uh, acceleration. Uh, among them, we, uh, we have seen a lot of interest coming from the automotive sector. 18 months ago, we were presenting the first results, for instance, of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication with cars running at 100 kilometers per hour. That was showing that in terms of bringing computer vision from one car to the other, maybe a very interesting factor to be able to achieve, for instance, the autonomous driver driving uh, car. Uh, and uh, this is one example. So we see uh, momentum now from several industries that would like to understand how they can imagine uh, their uh, new businesses in two, three, five years, thanks to 5G. At the moment, the biggest call comes from um, manufacturing, um, logistic companies that are looking forward to this kind of technology. There is a lot of effort even in our typical standardization bodies done by these companies, for instance, Siemens and Bosch are big players in there, to help us to standardize um, 5G industrial equipment. Um, those are typically um, companies where you need a very, very good, reliable performance. So it's very sensitive, let's say, um, connectivity um, that, they, that has to be provided to them. A lot of companies are thinking about 5G uh, becoming uh, the first time software and networks are, become, uh, are, are really so closed that they can imagine to provide uh, self-defined networks, uh, technologies that will in fact really uh, um, bridge uh, those two worlds uh, and uh, even with the, the idea and the concept of slices, uh, try to define a network that will answer uh, the specific needs they would have in terms of latency, for instance. So there is a very interesting promise for a lot of players and compared to the, the previous generations where we had mainly uh, vendors, operators, uh, discussing about that topic, we are seeing a very large and a more diverse number of people discussing about 5G with us. What we use now, um, already on 4G basis, is we call it dual slicing, which is the idea to split a existing 4G frequencies and then use different PLMN IDs on that, so different IDs to ensure that a certain traffic would be in one part of the network and not in the other. Why? A lot of customers of ours say, we would like to have a private network. We would like to 
not leave, that the certain data don't leave our campus, for instance. You have to ensure us that this data doesn't go through your public network. So what we do now is we have a public network that we still serve to the customer because for a lot of use cases you still need a public network and you have a certain part of the network is only private and we have our own core network that supports this private network and data will never leave campus. That's the general idea for our first, let's say, slice, which would mean a slice between a public and a private layer. It's not all good news for CSPs though. First, they have to convince vertical market customers of the value and merit of their new 5G services. Then they may also have to contend with a radical change in spectrum licensing, with national regulators offering 5G licenses direct to enterprises. Security and resilience of networks is absolutely key because none of the, none of the business cases for 5G will ever work if people don't trust the networks. It could be in the future that you have you know, dozens or hundreds of uh, operators, uh, service providers uh, on 5G networks and other types of connectivity uh, in a couple of years. And we have the situation in Germany also that um, we have given out uh, frequencies to the industries that can be used locally for their purpose. And um, I think it will take a time until you will really see 5G in a production field. At the moment, everybody is trying it out, but the appetite is really, really high to find out what actually 5G can do, what Wi-Fi cannot do at the moment. The, the industry's created a bit of a problem here, which is it's gone around saying 5G is going to be transformational and strategically important to all these industries. And their reaction is, if it's that, that important, we should do it ourselves. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we should buy the kit, we should badger the governments to get our own spectrum, um, we should do it on our timelines, we should fill it with our supply chains. You've just told us how important it is, we can't leave it up to you. You mustn't think about this vertical as a massive opportunity. You have to think about what are the use cases within the vertical. If you're making those big decisions and you're thinking, I'm going to move into this sector, you're probably going to have to think about actually moving into the sector properly, not in just the little bit that's the 5G bit. That's the, the big Absolutely. thing and that's a big decision.